What's up guys, welcome back. In today's video I got a new knife unboxing and review for you. As you can see this is a CRKT Columbia River Knife and Tool and the model that we're going to be doing today is the Pillar. So stay tuned for that. Alright guys, welcome back. So like I said, we do have the Pillar that we're going to be taking a look at today. And let's start off right with the packaging. Uh, it is CRKT's normal green cardboard box. Uh, there's the UPC code if you need it, or the model number, 5311 for the pillar. Um, so pretty much it for the box. Open it up, and inside you do, dip, you do get some uh, paperwork, some, I guess, warranty information, or, yeah, life, uh, let's see, lifetime warranty, and they're showing off their... Uh, hatchet, tomahawk, whatever you want to call it. Wood, cho woods, choking, tea hawk. All right, yeah. So we'll put that to the side. And inside uh, the plastic bag, we do have the knife. So there it is. Right off the bat, let's start off with some spec specifications. Uh, overall, this knife is 5.9 inches long. And the blade from cutting edge to cutting edge is 2.4 inches. So this is a... I would consider a small EDC knife. Uh, the blade steel is HCR 13 MOV steel, which is a, I, I love HCR 13 MOV. It's a very, uh, it's a cheap steel, but it's, and it's soft, but it's good. Uh, I really like it. Uh, the Spider Coat Tenacious has HCR 13 MOV steel, and I'm a real fan of that. So uh, I'm definitely a fan, and for the price point, it's a great steel. Uh, the blade shape is sheep's foot, as you can see there, it does look like a sheep's foot. Handle is 3.5 inches, so like I said, it's, this is in that small EDC category. A, uh, this is a stainless steel handle, so the weight is going to be increased, especially since they're not skeletonized. This is 4.2 ounces, which is in my opinion crazy for a uh, for a knife this small so it is over that four ounce mark that I like to say below because uh, like I always say ounces equal pounds pounds equal pain so everything does add up and uh, when you're carrying a knife this small you know what, what do you really get out of it for 4.2 ounces um, there's a there, there's a ton of ton of other options uh, for that for that category and you can see tip up or tip down, but right hand only. So sorry for your left handers. Uh, this is right hand only. And it comes situated tip down. I'm going to, have to change that to tip up. Uh, this knife is made in China. Not USA, made in China. Um, but it is well made. I have no complaints with quality control or construction or anything. It's very well made. Now let's do some uh, some close-ups of the knife. So here you have it. See the pocket clip. Now this is a frame lock, and I don't know if you can see this on camera, but you see this rust starting already, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, it does have a finger choil. It does have the uh, the opening hole, which I'm a fan of. You see Vatsune's design, or however you want to say it. So this is a made by uh, was it Jasper? Jasper, one of those. Uh, he's a, he's a relatively famous uh, knife designer. And there is the handle. All right, so there's your close up. Now let's talk about this rust. I've had this knife for a week or two. And, you know, I, I've used it to test for the review, but, you know, it's not like I submerge it underwater or anything like that. Um, but you can see the rust is already forming on the edges. And I live in northeast Pennsylvania. It's not near coastal regions or anything like that. You know, I'm not near salt water. So there's really no, no excuse to have rust on that that quick. You know, um, here we have a CRKT Amethyst, another stainless steel CRKT knife. 
and even this you can see there that's starting to rust and oxidize um, you see on the handle there all those black spots so CRKT needs to get that under control uh, there, like I said there's no reason for it here's another stainless steel CRKT this is the CRKT jettison and you can see on the inside rust so I don't know what's going on at CRKT uh, what what they're using if they're not putting any coating on the stainless steel but even then it's stainless steel it it shouldn't be rusting that's the whole point of stainless steel so I don't I don't know what's going on with that so they really need to get that under control that's my biggest gripe about this knife other than that I would just say it's a great small EDC knife you can spider flick it open uh, you can use your thumb or you can do the spidey drop uh, either one works and for size comparison here it is against the big CRKT Amicus and the CRKT Jettison so there's a little comparison for you now I will do a cut test see how good this little this little knife actually cuts so here I have a piece of paper and open up the knife and let's give it a few cuts and it is very sharp so CRKT good job on the sharpening there ain't no downfalls there I'm happy with that no problems at all it didn't get stuck no burrs so that's good so um, there you have it that's a CRKT pillar like I said just that rusting issue is uh, very serious it has to be addressed uh, with CRKT uh, they need to get on top of that because like I said um, there's no reason for it to rust like that that quick even at a price point this is around between twenty thirty dollars depending on where you go um, you know that that's not acceptable so they need to get on top of that but other than that it's a great knife uh, it's heavy duty you know you definitely feel it feel it feels good but like I said it is kinda heavy for how big it is but Overall, good knife. Would I recommend it? Yes, definitely, especially for the price point. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please consider comment, liking, and especially subscribing. It helps me out. And plus, I have a lot of other videos, a lot of other knives that are going to be coming out soon. So, you want to be notified and updated when those videos come out so uh, you can know about them. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.